Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, I am Corinne Panza. I'm currently studying in France with Erasmus Mandas Scholarship. Today I want to share with you one important document for scholarship application, which is motivational letter. But let me be real with you for a moment. I have applied for several scholarships in the past. Like many of you might be experiencing, I face rejection after rejection. Trust me, it wasn't because I was not qualified. My grade was top notch, my CV were okay. Because I have work experience, I have extracurricular activity, award, even more than 10 publications on international journal which is peer reviewed. With all these qualities and the grade I got rejected. So I questioned this decision and gathered all the application I submitted and reviewed in detail. I analyzed it to know what went wrong. Finally I found out that my motivational letter was not making the impact I hoped it for. So I dove deep into researching how to craft motivational letter, how to make the best motivational letter for scholarship. I read different sources, I reviewed sample scholarship uh, motivational letters and found out key strategies and the tips to craft a winning motivational letter. After that, I put all those tips and the strategies and applied for a scholarship last year. The result was unbelievable. I won three fully funded scholarship and reserved for one scholarship. Wow! Oh my God! Wow! Wow! This is wonderful! I actually shared this uh, achievement, my journey of winning all those scholarships in separate videos. It is on my YouTube channel. So you can watch if you want to know all those strategies and the tips if you want. In this video, I will briefly describe what is motivational letter itself, why a scholarship or admission team ask for motivational letter. In addition, what is the structure of motivational letter itself? I will also read one of my motivational letter which helped me to win scholarship, we find this scholarship as well as which get accepted for many universities is actually on NPH. Then finally, I will give you final tips to consider when you write for a score, when you write your motivational letter. So stay with me. Please, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel, like this video so that I can create more uh, helpful videos like this. Let's get started without further ado. All right, let's start with the basics. What exactly is motivational letter? You may know this. I will define from my own experience and from what I read. So motivational letter is where you showcase not only what you know or what you have done, but also what you challenge you have overcame, your unique personality, most importantly, where you share your passion. It is not a list of experience or achievement. It is connecting the dot and telling your history. It's kind of different from CV, different from cover letter. Because if you see CV, it is a list of achievement, experience, or blah, blah. And the cover letter is mostly tailored for a specific job vacancy, where you emphasize more on relevant skill and experience. However, when you come to motivational letter, it is an opportunity to tell who you are, your dream, and convince the scholarship or admission committee how the scholarship or the program will help you achieve that goal. So make sure that your story is the one they want to forget. You may wonder why the scholarship or admission team ask for a motivational letter. They already have your CV, they already have transcript and uh, other supporting document. 
they know your GPA, they know your list of achievements and uh, how many extracurricular activity you can juggle from those documents. But they ask for motivational letter, especially to dig deeper into what drives you. Essentially, they are after your motive. Think scholarship as an investment. They are not looking for someone who only shine on paper. They are looking for someone who is passionate and purposeful. Purposeful in a sense, someone who has clear and actionable plan to make a difference. They want candidates whose goal align perfectly with the values and the mission of the scholarship. So if they don't give you prompt question or what to answer in your motivational letter, you have to answer a minimum of these four questions I will give you. The first one is why. You have to start with why. Why you want to join that specific program at that specific university? You have to address that. You have to mention your motive, your why. The other question you have to address is what set of soft or hard skill you have or and relevant experience. If they choose you, those skills and relevant experience will help you excel in the program. The other thing they want to know is your goal. You have to have clear and actionable plan for future, maybe immediate, mid-term or long-term. You have to mention that. In addition, you have to convince that the scholarship or the program will help you achieve the goal or the plan you mentioned. So don't forget to address this question in your motivational letter. If they didn't mention the specific question, you have to write. All right, let's see the structure of mot motivational letter. The structure of motivational letter usually stays the same, but the specific content what we have to, what we write should fit a specific scholarship or program. It mostly varies based on the level of degree we are applying for, the motivational letter submitted for bachelor degree is different from the one which we submit for master, and the one we submit for master differ from the one we submit for PhD, obviously. The specific the thing we have to write in and the way we style them and what we include or remove depend on the level of degree we are applying for as well as it it may vary from university to university uh, for program to program so it's better to pay careful attention to specific criteria specific instruction uh, written on the official website whenever we want to apply we want to write our motivational letter. But there is a general or common things that we have to know. When you write your motivational letter, always break down it into three main sections. The first one is introduction. The second is body paragraph, then conclusion. When you write the introduction paragraph, start with a strong opening which grab attention and they mention why you wanted to apply for the scholarship or the program. So let's read my introduction, but one thing, this introduction is not perfect. I'm not saying this is perfect, this is the thing you have to follow, no. But still, it is accepted by many universities and uh, even I secured the scholarship with this uh, motivational letter. So let's read it. My journey as clinical pharmacist has opened my eye to a heartbreaking reality. Many patients arrive at hospital with conditions that could have been easily prevented or managed with early intervention. I have seen patients who, with timely care, could have been treated with single medication or simple lifestyle change, but are now facing complex treatment and poor prognosis. This experience has fueled my passion for public health and the need to address this issue at the root, prompting my interest in the MEPH program at 
XY led university. So I try my best to start with strong opening and mention what drives me to join the MPH program. After introduction, the next is body paragraphs. This, for instance, in my case, I focused on three que questions, try to answer three questions, and the body paragraph, the first one after introduction, I moved on to justify why that specific program at a specific university, what unique aspect the program has at that specific university. I address that in the first body paragraph. I actually took time on this one and I used two paragraphs, two small paragraphs. So let me read it for you. The MPH program at XYZ University offer the ideal platform to develop the expertise required to design and implement effective public health intervention. The programs emphasize on disease prevention through course like course one, two, three, align perfectly with my career goal. Additionally, the focus on data analysis, biostatistics, and the research methodology combined with strategic health policy will equip me with the skills to conduct impactful research and influence health policy. In addition, the second paragraph, XYZ University Population Research Center with its diverse research area and world-lead class faculty offers extensive partnership with regions like Sub-Saharan Africa, including my home country. This presents a valuable opportunity for future collaboration in public health programs, enabling me to contribute to reducing health inequality and promoting health at community level. So here, as you can see, I tried to mention specific courses around three courses. I also mentioned the focus of the program, like data analysis, like post-statistic strategic policy, specifically there and how it will help me. Further, I mentioned the university's research center and how they have collaboration with Sub-Saharan Africa, including my home country, and that this collaboration will help me in future. So I connected all those things and justified why I want that program at that specific university. So also try to dig more to such type of uh, specific aspect of the course and try to include in your motivational letter when you write. So now let's move into the next paragraph, which I try to convince that I have more specific skills, relevant experience, which will help me to excel in the program. Let me read that for you. During my graduate study, I have completed foundational courses such as epidemiology, biostatistics, and research method, which are fundamental for MPH. I have also gathered data on treatment outcome of major non-communicable disease, leading to publication of 10 articles in international peer-reviewed journals. I have supervised community health education program and collaborated with stakeholders to implement intervention aimed at reducing health inequality. Witnessing the impact of this initiative has deepened my commitment to public health. So here I just mentioned a few courses I took, which is fundamental for MPH. I also mentioned my experience with uh, conducting scientific uh, research, scientific research and the publishing uh, article and also mentioned my involvement in community health uh, program, health education program, which has an impact. So these three, I mentioned these three experience, which I believe it will be, it is in line with the MPH program. In the last body paragraph, I try to explain, try to demonstrate, I can say, my personal qualities, kind of soft skills, and my future goal. Let me read it for you first. My ability to juggle multiple roles from teaching to community service has sharpened my time management and multitasking skills. This quality, along with the leadership and networking skills I developed through the Mandela Washington Fellowship, 
will enable me to thrive in the MPH program and contribute meaningfully to the field. In the long run, I aspire to leverage this skill to step into leadership role within international organization like the WHO, driving global aid initiatives. So here I touched on that I'm good at time management, multitasking, giving them example to support it, and also rather than saying I have leadership and networking skill, I mentioned that I acquired leadership and the networking skill from Mandela Ashton Fellowship training. Finally, I mentioned my long-term goal, which is to be uh, acquire leadership role in international organization like WHO. This might be different in your case. The last part is conclusion, where you have to recap the main uh, reason why you want to apply and how you fit into this scholarship but in my case i just concluded it briefly because i wrote a lot in the body paragraph i don't want to make the word count increase so i just briefly concluded i conclude like this just simple Thank you for considering my application. I'm eager to apply my skills and experience in the MPH program at XYZ University and look forward to contributing to the public health community. I am excited about the opportunity for a lasting and mutually beneficial relationship with XYZ University. So I think this last uh, statement I said, I'm looking for the opportunity to lasting and mutually beneficial. I'm not the only one going to be benefited and that I'm going to also contribute for them that it is mutual. So you can conclude like this, but if you have enough words to, if you are not limited by word, you can add, you can recap, re-summarize your motive and the special skill which makes you outstanding and uh, you can conclude with this positive statement just like this. So this is the structure. I have three final tips for you. The first one is be genuine. Authenticity is very important when you apply for a scholarship. Be honest with your experience and aspiration because if you progress to interview stage, they will dig deeper. So you know the consequence. The second one is Tailor your motivational letter always to a specific scholarship. Don't submit the same motivational letter for different scholarship. Try to reflect that you understand what they are looking for and tailor to a specific scholarship. The final one is proofread. Read it again and again so that you will be sure that it is free from grammatical error and typos. If possible, get feedback from scholars in the field. This will help you a lot. So this is the three tips I have for you. To conclude uh, this video, I understand that writing motivational letter for scholarship can be daunting, but with the right approach, it can be your ticket to success. Use the tips and the approach I share here. Craft your letter not only the way it tells your story, but also make it aligned with the values of the scholarship you are applying for. If you like this guide, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, it will motivate me to share more content for others. If you are Kind enough, please share this through your social media for other people so that they can get benefit from it. And finally, if you have question, always write in the comment box or directly contact me through my social medias. I will answer any question related to scholarship application. I wish you good luck with your application. Bye. See you next time.